Hi, I'm Allie. Join me as I show you a simple way to make a beaded lariat with some cord and a number of different ways that you can make these strands, however many you want, different colors to match different outfits and different ways to connect them and wear them around your neck. So to begin, I'm going to show you an easy way that you can attach pearls onto your knotted cord. I have a piece of cord that's about 30 inches long, depending on how long you want to make your necklace. And the first thing I'm going to do is tie a knot at the end of my first piece of cord. Now, I like the look of a burned end or a burned knot. You don't have to do that. But if you want to, you can grab some cutters or some scissors, cut down a little bit closer to the design, use your thread zap or your thread burner, and you can burn down that thread end a little bit. It will go quickly. And then I like to touch it while it's still tacky. It's not super hot, just be careful. And that creates almost a burnt end. There's not gonna be any fraying and your knot is going to stay. Now, one of the tricky things with getting beads onto cord and using it is that you have to often get the cord through the bead. Sometimes you can get the cord through the bead two times, sometimes you can't. I've lucked out with my pearls that I am able to get the cord through two times. You can use a twisted needle if you want to, to attach to the end of the cord, but I'm gonna show you a nice simple version of using string to create your own needle. I'm going to put my cord, that Chinese knotting cord, around a piece of string that is doubled over. This is just a scrap of beading thread, dragon thread that I have, and I'm going to put it through the end of my pearl. Now the pearls have a coating on them because of the way that the production is done, and that coating you can take your um, beading all if you want to and kind of push it back, but you're going to have the opportunity now to use that as a needle, give a little pressure, and see how it'll pull over that end. While it's there, I'm gonna feed on the beads that I'm going to sit on top of the pearl, which actually will go through the cord rather easily without the needle. And I'm gonna do that same thing with another one. And then my third, my fourth bead is gonna be another one of my pearls. Going through that end, pulling that string just like a needle. And if you need to, you can even get on or grab your pliers, kind of pull back and force that through. It's a tight fit, but it'll work with this 0.8 millimeter cord. Push the first two beads down towards the bottom of your cord, making sure it's not twisted. Move those two beads away. And we're gonna take that mirrored round in the pearl and we're gonna do a knot right on top. If you have trouble getting the knot close, you can grab your beading all Put your awl right into the knot before you pull it tight. Push it down next to the bead and then slowly release the beading awl while pulling the string tighter and tighter as you get closer. Give a nice tight pull and that holds that pearl and that mirrored round in place. On the other end of the cord, we're gonna do the same thing, but a little bit backwards since our beads are already on there. We're gonna tie our knot, go very close down to the bottom here And then same deal, trim the edge a little bit. Oops. Burn that down. You'll notice I press on the bead on the thread burner prior to bringing it next to the project because that means it's already heated up. I just kind of press it flat as it's still a little tacky. It's a man-made material. Push it down towards the end and repeat. You're gonna do this as many times as you want to, depending on how many strands and how many pearl drops you have coming off the end of your necklace. Pushing that bead close, pulling it nice and, nice and tight, and then continuing with multiple strands as you go in to create your design and your necklace. So after you make a couple of the strands, the fun begins of how do you wanna wear it? So you have all of these strands that are hanging out just like the one that I have around my neck and that one is with silk cord. These again are with that Chinese cord that I just showed. 
what you can do is figure out, again, how you want to wear them. So the first way to wear them that I think is the easiest was the one in the intro video, where all I'm doing is taking those three strands, holding them all together at the end, taking them around my neck, and putting the pearls through the loop that was created and making that simple lariat look. The other way to do it, there's a couple fun pieces sitting here that you can look and follow. I'm going to do this with just a single strand of the silk corded one, so that way it's a little bit easier to follow how that knot's going through and I'm gonna keep my pearl one on. So when I have the knotting cord, whether or not it's the knotted cord or whether or not it's a silk cord, same deal. So again, the first way that we did was we doubled it over around our neck, creating that loop and then just sliding the pearls through the loop and the tension around your neck, like I have here, will hold it in place. The next thing you can do is get a little fancy if you want to. So here I have the cord doubled over on itself, just like we're doing. And if I want to, I can add something like a nice little um, charm to it, basically, which in this case is going to be your crystal cosmic ring. Now I can take this cosmic ring the whole way down through, just let it hang out and it'll stop because the beads will not fit through there. The other thing you can do is take the whole necklace through that cosmic ring, making that loop and basically taking the loop back here through the cosmic ring and the cosmic ring will be at the very end looped around. That cosmic ring then looped around the end becomes the loop that you put the pearls through as you put it around your neck. So how do you get those pearls through? You need to make sure that you are putting the pearls through singly one by one to go through that loop. You're going to need the bigger cosmic ring if you're going to use these eight millimeter pearls with it. The other thing that you can do is separate out the cords one by one on each side here, separating out that loop in the middle and putting it around and simply twisting them around one and two and letting it all hang down like a cluster. Another fun thing that you can do here, taking this loop off now, is use something like a decorative toggle. So here's a decorative toggle that I can take, add, to the loop here, putting my pearls through one and two, taking the thread, doubling it over, having that loop, and again, just like the cosmic ring, putting those pearls through one and two, and wearing it around the neck as so, that the pearls are just gonna hang down along the front of the tassel of that toggle. Another idea that you can do is take something like a self-produced loop and eye and have fun using that for the design. So using that one for the design, what we're going to do is take the thread at the end here, doubling it over again. We're going to put that double-ended section through my smaller loop of my toggle bar here. Separate it out, take that through it, which doubles the thread over. And then once again, in the front, take that loop, put the pearls through it, and you have this nice, fun, cascading loop along the front of the necklace design. Likewise, we can do the same thing, and you can keep them on this and do this in all different varieties and all different ways. If you want to, change it out each day as you're wearing it. The next way to do it is going to be with this loop. So the nice thing about this loop here and this larger lobster is we can do the same thing where we connect that cord doubled over through there. And now we don't need these to fit through here because look, the lobster opens up. You can put the cord ends through there and the lobster will hang with the cord however you want it to in whatever lengths along the front of the design. The last way that you can do it is just like this. Simply put it around your neck, make it longer, and when you get to the front, if you want to keep it stable, tie an overhand knot, 
or simply in the front of your design, tie a simple knot that can be removed after wearing to let it hang down in the lariat form with it a single strand rather than doubled over. There are tons of options when it comes to wearing these pearl necklace strands and being able to utilize them in all different ways. You could even honestly wrap them around your wrist if you wanted to in that same regard, doubling it over, wrapping it around and around and around, twisting the pearls and letting them hang as they go. But I love the versatility of this design. You could also, if you wanted to, take a piece like a bigger bead with a bigger hole, drop it over the end, let that crystal sit on the top or the bottom, and just let that hang out at the bottom as you wear it separated on the top. Lots of ways that you could use this with a Pandora style bead. And you could almost so mimic the same thing with chain. Doubling that over if you wanted to, also coming back through the loop and just having it all different ways to wear these fun and creative little pearl cords. Just to show as a different view, I have my cords here. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna tie a simple knot, taking one through the other, and just the weight of the cords and the weight of the pearls will let them hang on your neck. Again, the simple way to do the lariat otherwise is to take them, double over those cords so that there's a loop in the middle here, taking it around your neck and taking those pearls through to hang out just like the lariat. So many different fun ways that you can go in and use the cosmic rings, you can use the clasps, you can use the toggles or even man-made loops or just your own tying skills here to make this pearl lariat and have fun mixing different beads, different styles, wearing whatever you want for the day. Remember, if you do need any materials, go ahead and look below the video. We'll put links there to the products online, like the Potomac Pearls, the Mirrored Rounds, and the Chinese Knotting Cord. Remember, you can also do this with silk cord, leather, and lots of other different kinds of materials. Go ahead and comment below if you changed up any materials, if you use anything else, or any ideas that you might have for the greater community. As always, thanks so much for watching and enjoy your simple pearl lariat necklace.